more Kunmitsu no Yaiba snacks from Japan, guys. It's Kiwi in Japan. Let's, let's tuck in for another video. So this time, Kimetsu no Yaiba is having a collaboration with Milky. Milky is celebrating their 70th anniversary. Milky is a very popular candy um, brand here in Japan. Maybe you recognize the character, Peko-chan. Um, very iconic imagery, this character, and people know the candy. But 70 years of this candy, that's a really long time. So to celebrate, a collaboration with Kimetsu no Yaiba that came out like only a couple years ago. I don't know, but it's pretty big. I love, I love the design of all the characters. All of the characters have their little, little tongues out, just like Peko-chan, except for Nezuko, because obviously she's got a scroll in her mouth. Inosuke is too happy. I think um, Kanao and Rengoku are looking pretty chill. Yeah, there's Rengoku. He doesn't have a tongue out. He doesn't want to eat. He just wants to look at his little cute crow. So I've bought three of the goods. There's actually a lot of goods and snacks available at the moment, um, but I only bought three. This was all I could find going around to different stores. And first, it's these. This might be one of the signature ones. These are little chocolates. They're all individually wrapped, and I think the characters are on the packets. In true Japanese style, you get little packets and you can give them to your coworkers like this. Cute! There's a little Tanjiro there. And inside this bag, it's all different characters as well. So here, Shinobu. There she is, looking happy, looking sweet. Uh, Rengoku, he's got his tongue out as well, that's really funny. But I actually have no idea what these taste like. What, what does the candy taste like? Is it chocolate? Is it sweet? There's a picture on the back of all of the different colours. Mm, these might be different flavours. Ichigo, so pink, if there's a pink one, it's strawberry. Green is matcha or green tea. Banana, uh-oh, yellow's banana. And blue? Blueberry. Ooh, I was able to read the katakana, guys. I was able to, I know what flavors it was. All right, so Tanjiro, do, is it because it's a green packet? It's the it's the matcha one? I don't know, but it's a cute little chocolate. This, this looks all right. I, maybe I'll buy more of these. Bottoms up. I can smell the matcha already. Mmm. It's, mmm, it's really smooth, almost like a truffle. Really, really melty. That's why it's called a milky, I guess. It's very, very milky, melty chocolate. Mmm. Matcha flavor is pretty good too. Mmm. So these are all different. That's cool. These are all different flavors. I wonder if there's a there's a there's there's one that has Shinobu and Rengoku and Yu on the bag, not these main guys. I'm wondering if they have different flavors. It actually does say what flavor it is on the packet here. You can see small, like Giyu is the matcha, Tanjiro's matcha, um, strawberry is Kanao and Nezuko. I didn't get Zenitsu, I got no Zenitsu. So that must be the banana flavor is also Zenitsu and Rengoku. On the back of these, it actually has like a little quiz. It's got like a little question. Like, uh, I think there's one, this one here, no? Oh yeah, what is Rengoku's favorite food? And it says on the back, like hidden there, it's a uh, sweet potato miso or something. So yeah, these are really cool. Little quizzes to test your friends. D does, it, does it say anywhere in the manga what Rengoku, Rengoku's food is? Or is that like a footnote in like the profiles like in the Shonen Mang, in the Shonen magazine? How do you know that? We never know, it's not can, it's canon, but not real, I don't know. Anyway, next, I got these little biscuits. I think this is exactly the same. They're individually wrapped biscuits with different characters on every single one. And on the front with Gyu and Inosuke, Cherry's favorite character, my favorite character. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack them open. Whoa, okay. Oh, look at the inside of the box. The inside of the box, there's all the characters there. Cute. But wait a minute. This doesn't look like it's individually wrapped. This looks like it's a, it's a free for all. And on the bag, there's all the different characters with their names. I want to see what these biscuits look like. I want to know if there's like chocolate inside or if it's just like a plain. <laughs> Look at that you! Look at that face! Look at that little biscuit face! What the hell? Is that, is that Rengoku? I, mean, I don't know. 
Who's that? What have you done to my boys? Oh, Nezuko looks okay. Nezuko, they look bootleg though. Trying to get the characters' images on a biscuit is not very successful. Oh no, Zenetsu. You cheeky boy. What have you done? What's he done? What have you done? Did Zenetsu deserve to die? These are really, really basic, basic biscuits. A little hint, a little underlying hint of like butterscotch or something. So not so bad. Not absolute bargain bin. Pretty good biscuits. Funny faces on the characters too. I like it. I love the box. Really good design on the box. This is probably a classic old fashioned Japanese snack. The last snack I have for this video is this. Uh, Pekko pan. This pekko pan is a, is a puff food. Puff pan. Puff pe, be, bun. I think there's cream inside. Kurimu. Um, and it's pekko. Although this is not pekko. This is Tanjiro. Pekko's face is on the pan. On the puff food. That's why it's a pekko pan. Pek pekko puff. Pan puff. <laughs> Woo! It's really, really soft. It's delicately soft. That is a puff. Puff. The inside is harder than the outside. What's this cream gonna be like? That cute little peko. Peko face. All right, let's dig in. Ooh! 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 Oh, yummy! Mmm! Mmm! Oh, the perfected recipe of seven years. Really, really good cream. But, sadly, it's over in seconds. That delicious moment is fleeting. I've already consumed everything. That whole bite of pickle puff pan. That's a third of the pan already gone. Really good though. Really good puff. Mmm. All right. Woo! Good snacks. Good collaboration with Milky. They also had these little tins where which had characters' faces on them, and I think it was like little like hard candies with like a chocolatey taste or something. I don't know. Um, but I didn't buy that. Um, the tin doesn't really look like it has like any use for storing things afterwards. It's too small and it was like 300 yen just for this little tin. No, 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 I didn't buy it. But here's a picture of it. These are the other goods that they had available. Um, I didn't get them. I couldn't find them. Today is the first day of this collab. So maybe later I'll be able to buy some more of the snacks, but that's it for this video. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please tell me what your favorite Kimetsu no Yaiba character is. Have you seen the movie? Are you excited for season two? Have you read the manga? Which manga character do you like that's not in the anime? I like Doma. Do you know Doma? If you do, you're a good person. Thank you to all of my members, my Kiwi members. Their names are appearing on screen. These guys helped me big time. Where's my lighter? You funded this video. Um, Slump Pump, uh, Tom Gribbon, uh, Jackie, your guys' names are appearing. Thank you so much, Taramba. I love my Kiwi members. I love my subscribers too, so please subscribe. I'll see you guys for future videos. Thank you very much.